The Jacksonville Jaguars have a more clear path in the 2024 NFL draft after the first couple weeks of free agency. A month ago, it appeared Jacksonville was most likely to pick an offensive lineman, cornerback, or wide receiver in the first round. After resigning Ezra Cleveland, bringing in Mitch Morse, and restructuring Brandon Scherf's contract, the Jaguars look unlikely to turn to offensive line for the second year in a row. Jacksonville signed Gabe Davis and lost Calvin Ridley, so their receiver room took a step back on paper. It also released Darius Williams, who played well for the Jaguars last season, leaving their cornerback room in need of more than just Ronald Darby. The Jaguars could go either way on April 25 when the 2024 NFL Draft begins in Detroit. If Texas wide receiver Adana Mitchell is still on the board at number 17 in the draft, the Jaguars could have a hard time passing on him. Strengths Mitchell was one of the top receivers in the NCAA last season. After spending two years at Georgia, Mitchell transferred to Texas for his junior season and quickly established himself as a top receiver prospect. One of the first things everyone notices about Mitchell is his speed and size. The 6'2", 205-pound receiver put down a 4.34-second 40-yard dash at the Combine, and his time is apparent in his game film. Because of his physical traits, he's best when utilized as a deep threat. He also has his share of impressive reps displaying his route running. Mitchell's able to use his route running and speed to beat defenders at all three levels. He's also really solid at tracking the ball in air and had a drop rate of just 1.8% last season, via PFF. Weaknesses Matthew Hinton USA Today Sports while Mitchell is good at making plays on the ball in air, he doesn't always use his size as much as he should. If he becomes more physical at the catch point, he could develop into an even better player when it comes to hauling in 50-50 balls. He also has work to do to become better after the catch. Mitchell is good at turning his body around after making a catch to gain a few extra yards, but he isn't a dynamic runner yet. Maybe most concerning is that Mitchell didn't have much production as a college athlete. He played the majority of his freshman year, but he didn't become a main focus of an offense until this year, in part because he spent most of 2022 injured. Game to Watch, Texas vs. Kansas State, November 4, 2023 In his only season with the Longhorns, Mitchell had three 100-yard games. His best of those games came against Kansas State on November 4. Mitchell had his highest receiving yards total of the season and gave the Wildcats trouble all day, even with Texas not having its starting quarterback, Quinn Ewers. Mitchell ended the day with eight catches for 149 yards and a touchdown, as Texas beat number 23 Kansas State, 33-30, in overtime.